Are you serious, Janet? Dad! Please. Okay, this is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. I should have just kept everything to myself. You're my daughter. And I can't believe you just told me that your husband's been treating you so terribly. He's not terrible, okay? Okay, so... There have been some things in our relationship that have happened that have made things a little bit difficult, but I just need you to keep an open mind and give him a chance, okay? Open-minded? Yeah, I'll be open-minded to the idea of you leaving him. He cheated on you, Janet. And he lied to you about it the whole time. I, I can't believe he's treating you this way. This is why I didn't want to tell anyone in our family, okay? And I've been going through this all by myself. One time, I reached out for support. You're making a huge scene. Hey, what's all the yelling about? <gasps> Janet? Yo! Woo! Janet! How you doing, sis? You never visit. Hey, Tim. Yeah, I know. It's It's been a long time. Yeah. Um, everything's just... It's terrible. Awful. paulie has been cheating on your sister. What? He's not the man we thought he was. Janet. Is that true? No. No. I've been trying to get close to him and treating him like family all this time and he does this? That's insane. Guys, okay. I need the two of you to relax. He's here. Okay? No. No. I have everything under control. I just need the two of you to trust my decision, okay? I'm an adult. I can't believe he's here. He has some nerve. What took you so long? You know I don't like to wait. It's coming. What is coming? Oh! No! That is. Are you serious? Have you been drinking? Are you stupid? Can't you tell I've been drinking? You know, to hang out with you and your family, I need to have a little buzz going. Okay, he doesn't mean that. He doesn't mean that. He's just not in the right state of mind. Okay, I have to take him over here. Tim, could you please help me clean this up? I have to take care of him. Seriously? Please. The things you do for family. Oh, oh it smells like hand sanitizer. I can't believe you drank before coming to my dad's house. You knew how much this meant to us. Oh my gosh, this is such a mess. Dad, could you please? Could you please just get him a cup of water? Me? I... You want me to get him water after everything he's done? Yes. Fine. I'm only doing it because it's for you, Janet. Ugh. Why am I always the one to do these kind of things? Hey. I'm sorry. Are you sorry for this? Or are you sorry about lying to us these past couple months? Pretending everything's been okay when it's clearly not? Or how about making us believe that your husband is a good person, but in actuality, he's kind of the worst. This is exactly why I didn't tell anyone. Everyone is so quick to judge and comment, and I'm just trying to move forward. Look, I'm, no, it's not like that, okay? Yeah. Don't, no, don't get it twisted. I'm not judging. It's just, look, I get these things are difficult to overcome. And I get, at the end of the day, it's your decision, but I don't know, Janet. I just feel like you're making a mistake. Whatever happened to, to realizing your self-worth? I mean, shouldn't that be the most important thing above all else? He's my husband. And neither of us are perfect, okay? I have made my fair share of mistakes in this marriage. But both of us decided that we want to make it work. 
then why is he showing up drunk? And why does he talk to you like that? It's complicated. Janet, you're my sister. I just don't want to see you get hurt. I'm gonna go check on Dad. Second of all, life has been great, okay? How are things going with you and Janet? Yeah, Polly. How are things with you and my sister? Things are good. Yeah. He helps me out with things. With what? A lot of things, like groceries. Yeah, I always have to be the one. <coughs> I always have to be the one to go get the groceries and bring him back to the apartment, bring him back to the house, you know? Oh, wow. Congratulations. Well, sweetie, why don't you guys stay for lunch? We're gonna pass on that. I just came to pick her up. You drove here? Yup. Unbelievable. Babe, I thought we agreed that we were gonna spend some time with my family. We never settled on that, Janet. Hey! Hey, calm down. Polly, we don't hang out anymore. And I never get to see my sister. Why don't you guys stay for lunch? Dad got your favorite. Pizza and a salad. Perfect. You heard her. Great. The whole family's back together again. Except... Except nothing. Fine. But we leave right after lunch. <laughs> Sounds like you're feeling better. Never been better. Hey, Polly. You should go ask them if they need help. It'll look good. No, I don't need to look good. They either like me for who I am or they can screw off. Who do you think I am? Okay, Polly. You've been acting out and it is not okay. You come in here drunk, and then you make rude comments to my brother and my dad? You're supposed to be trying to fix your image after what you did. Okay. Okay. Can we eat? Here, sweetie. It's, it's your favorite. Yeah. And your favorite salad made by yours truly. Really? Yeah. You're the best, bro. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> you know... I know I haven't been around a lot lately, but oh. I'm really glad that we did get a, to spend some quality time together. Oh. I really, really missed you guys. Ah, can we eat? I'm starving. Yeah, let's get started. All right. Janet, mm -hmm. how's work? Does this have gluten? It's pizza, Polly. What, do you have a gluten sensitivity or something? Yeah. You, you, Janet, you didn't tell them I have a gluten sensitivity? Well, what are we gonna eat? I'm starving. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna starve. I'm sorry. It completely slipped my mind, but, but there's salad here too. You can eat that. Does it salad? look like I eat salad? Come on, they're feeding me scraps over here. What was so important that you had me come over so that we can talk to them today? Paul! You know, you're being really immature right now. Shut up, Timmy! Excuse you! You gotta learn some respect, especially for my sister. I said shut up, Timmy. I talked to one person and one person only, and that's Janet. No, you're talking to me! Enough! Enough is what I say, it's enough! Polly! What's wrong with you? I'm going crazy here, Janet. I don't know. Let's just go. No! I am not leaving! I am not leaving with you! I have done everything in my power to try and save our marriage because I believed in the vows that we made to each other. But it's not fair to me anymore because you have broken every single one of them. 
I keep telling myself, telling myself that we can make it work, but clearly you are not willing to put the effort in to make a change. What? Your ego's just too big to see when you're wrong. What, so you're gonna divorce me? You think you're really gonna divorce me? You didn't even leave me when I cheated on you. Well, guess what? Today I have finally come to my senses. Because you haven't just disrespected me, you disrespected my family. You'll be getting papers in the mail. I don't want to see you ever again, Polly. You heard my daughter. It's time for you to go. You know where the door is. Forget it, Janet. This marriage was a joke to me anyway. You know what? Good luck on this broken heart you're about to experience right now. She has us for that, buddy. Honestly, as long as you're out of my life, I think I'll be fine. I'm out of here. Today was a waste of a day anyway. Good riddance. Sweetie. Hey, hey. We got your back. What's what okay. we gonna do? Oh, sweetie, I know how hard this has been for you. And I'm so sorry you've had to deal with this all alone. But I want you to know, you are much stronger than you think you are. And you are so loved. And we've always got your back. Yeah, Janet. You know, for my whole life, you've always been the one telling me to know my worth, to practice self-love. <laughs> and maybe you got lost in your marriage, but now you have an opportunity to build yourself back up. Stronger than ever. And we'll be there every step of the way. We'll be there to support you in every way possible. And you know, it's not easy letting go of the people you love most. You display the courage few people have. And we're so proud of you for it. Thank you both so much. I just really, really wanted to believe him. I thought that we could get her happily ever after when he changed. And I was so wrong. But thank you guys so much for being there for me and thank you for letting me find my way on my own. Of course, of course. I'm so grateful that I have you guys to support me. Hey, you know, you can always have your old room back. <laughs> well, you know what? I. I think I am going to have to take you up on that. Okay. All right. All right. The Wheeler family is officially reunited. <laughs> I'm bringing it, guys. Group hug. We're so proud of you. We love you so much.